I'm now going to explain to you how you can use your calculator to work out questions involving um, standard form. So example five, write your answers in standard form. And we have two questions here. So I'll start with the one on the left. So the first thing you need to do is to plug the whole of this expression in your calculator. So 4.9 times 10 to the power 5. multiplied by 8.8 .8 times 10 to the power negative 4. Um, and if you press enter, you'll end up with an answer like this. Um, now, if you, are, you want your answers in um, standard form, your calculator can actually give you answers in standard form. And you can set it up so that it gives you answers to three significant figures. In most questions in IGCSE and IB, you'll be required to write your answers to three significant figures. It makes sense to set our calculators to three significant figures. So to do that, go to Shift, Setup, then go to number seven, Scientific, so seven, and just press three for three significant figures. Now. If you want to see your answer in standard form, to view your answer in standard form here, just press this button, SD, um, and then you'll have your answer to standard form. So our answer is actually um, 4.31 times 10 to power T. Okay, um, in the next question, we'll do the same thing. So start on, uh, use the fraction button, it's always easier. So 1.5 times 10 to power negative seven. And then, let's just move this here. And then three multiplied by 10 to power negative three. So what we end up is that our calculator has already been set up to three significant figures. So just press the SD button and you'll have your answer, which is five times 10 to power negative five. So our answer is five times 10 to power negative five. 